Problem number 45 of section 1.5.1 .1 gives us a, not the function, but the derivative of a function modeling temperature in a certain location in degrees Celsius in terms of years past 1990. Now, the, uh, we assume that this model is only valid for, from zero years to 12 years after 1990, so from 1990 to 2002. Now, we want to find the intervals on which t is increasing. So we're given the derivative, so our first step is to find the critical, uh, the critical points. So we set the derivative equal to 0. But the derivative is equal to t squared minus 8t plus 12. Now we can factor this as Let's see, t, mi t, equal, t minus 2 and t minus 6 equals 0. So our critical points are t equals 2 and 6. And notice that both of these are valid critical points because they're within our domain 0 to 12. If we had found a critical point that was outside that domain, it would be a critical point of the polynomial, but not of the function that's modeling our temperature because we're restricting it to the domain 0 to 12. So now we, find, we found the critical points. We want to know when is the temperature increasing. So if we... look at, uh, take a sample point at each of these intervals and plug it into the derivative, and we'll see, well, is it positive or negative? So let's take an easy one. Let's take 0. Uh, at 0, the derivative uh, is just equal to 12, so it's positive. Now between 2 and 6, well, let's take 3. T, t prime of 3, uh, just using the factorization here, will be 1 times 3 minus 6 minus 3, so minus 3, and that's less than 0. So we'll have the, der well, we have the derivative is uh, negative on the interval 2 to 6. And finally, let's pick a point greater than 6 and less than 12, say 7. Now we have the derivative evaluated at 7 is 7 minus 2. 5, and 7 minus 6, 1. So that's 5, which is greater than 0, so function is increasing. So to actually answer our original question, uh, we have that t is increasing on zero to two. And on six to twelve. 